I mean, I guess we're uh, obligated to ask about today, sort of the s s situation, and if you got a sense of. Uh, maybe... By the check, you know, check out meeting with you know, the majority of our unrestricted guys. Um, we had a great talk. Um, yeah, we'd love to have him back, obviously. What's the priority? You mentioned the pass rush, though. So you got the priority of how much? Yeah, sir. You're just going to run it down for you, Greg? <laughs> That be easier. Um, well, that's a tricky, obviously, yeah. position because of the market. No and, question. And it, it, with that in play, what kind of priority is that? It's, it's, you get tired of me talking about it, but it's a landscape thing, right? Trying to figure out exactly, you know, like at this point last last year, I didn't, I thought Frank was going to be on our team, right? So it's it's really like a a, a daily or weekly uh, process of figuring out how you're going to put this thing together. And you know, we have some cap flexibility this year, which is great. But it's not just about this year, too. It's just planning for, for the, you know, next year and the following year as well. We have to be cognizant of where we're going. Pete told us that he came up to your office on cleanup day. What, well, I, yeah, I, I do that with, right. you know, the, all the unrestricted guys. What did it mean to you for him to say, I want to be here? And, and does that carry any weight? It, it was great. I mean, I think he came in. He loved the culture. Coach, he loves the coaching staff, you know, loves the, loves the chefs, loves our equipment guys. And, I mean, it's, he's, he's, a, he's a really fun guy. And he was he was he was a blast to be around, and I hope we can continue that. You know, John, you and Pete talk about super disruptive. You, you, you and Pete